power factor of the circuit shown in figure is so you this time you have been asked to calculate the power factor of the circuit so power factor of the circuit power factor so cos phi cos phi is known as the power factor right the term cos phi is known as the power factor where phi phi is the phase angle phase difference you say phase difference between current and voltage so power factor is cos phi phi is the phase difference between the current and the voltage and you have been shown a circuit so this is a series rlc circuit so you have been given the series rlc circuit and you are being asked to calculate the power factor so let us first calculate the phase difference between the current and the voltage so if i try to draw the phasor diagram this is vr and current will be in this direction only right and voltage across inductor it varies by a phase difference of pi by 2 so vl will be here and let's talk about vc it comes over here so net voltage it comes over here and this angle this is known as the phase difference between the current and the voltage and we can use the same concept for the impedance triangle also see this is r then this will be xl and this will be xc i'm assuming that xl is greater than xc so it means that the net impedance will be along this direction z that will be equal to under the root of r square plus xl minus xc whole square right and this angle will be your phi so this cos phi this cos phi will give you the power factor and cos phi from this impedance triangle it will be equal to r by z cos phi is coming out to be uh, to be equal to r by z someone is asking me how are you i am fine so cos phi it is equal to r by z now you just need to calculate r by z so cos phi what is the value of resistance it is 80 and let's calculate the impedance so it will be equal to under the root of r square plus xl minus xc whole square so xl minus xc whole square so it will be equal to 80 upon under the root of 80 square and xl minus xc will be 100 minus 40 it becomes 60 so 80 square plus 60 square so it's a simple pythagorean triplet 80 60 will give you 100 so cos phi its value is coming out to be equal to 80 by 100 which means it is equal to 0.8 power factor of the circuit we just calculated it is equal to 0.8 and it is given to you in option 3 now dear students if you understood how to calculate the power factor give me the power dissipated average power for this rlc circuit how to calculate the average power for this rlc circuit if uh, if you know how to calculate give me the answer to this problem average power for the same circuit p average anyone p average okay i'll write the formula for you average power it is a very standard expression it is equal to vrms into irms into cos phi and if irms is not given you can modify this formula vrms in place of irms you write vrms over the impedance and cos phi it again become r by z so it is coming out to be equal to vrms square into r by z square so vrms square into r by z square vrms is given to you as 220 r is given to you as 80 and z is you just calculate it is equal to 10 So VRMS it becomes 220 into 220 into R is 80 and upon 10 into 10. It should give you the answer to this problem. So I hope you understood how to solve such kind of problems. In this problem, you are being asked about the power factor. आप से भी पूछा जा सकता है how to get to the average power. What is the average power dissipated? So that's how you calculate the power factor or if you got the power factor you can also calculate the average power dissipated